Hello and welcome. And I realize you just got here, but I want to let you know I'm about to ask you a question. And it's a whopper. But before I ask you that question, I want to let you know that I've already made a couple of assumptions about you. One is that you probably have a grand vision for your life. You want to have a level of happiness and success. You want to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Maybe you have a vision, a mission, and you're wondering whether or not you're up to the task. Are you connected or aligned with that mission? Now, in a couple of moments, I'm also going to introduce you to my signature coaching program called The Aligned Self, which is all about self-identity, self-concept. So the question I want to ask you, the big question right now, is who are you? Who are you? You know, when I ask that question in my workshops and seminars, they usually get a vacant look like, How do I even begin to answer that? For the most part, people haven't even considered that question consciously. They think who they are is a result of their upbringing, the decisions, their passions, their likes and dislikes. Most of those are, have not been consciously chosen. Now that question was asked of me when I was 13 years old and it has guided my life. The pursuit of answering that question has guided my life. It's guided my coaching. It's guided my, my entire education. In fact, I've, well, let me say this. <laughs> Maybe you don't know who I am. If you don't, my name is Daniel Dano V. I'm a peak performance coach, a workshop and seminar leader, and I've been a coach for over 30 years. So. In a moment, I'll circle back to the coaching. But when I was 13, I was in my English class in junior high or middle school, I guess they call it now. But the English teacher was out for the day and I have no, no idea why, but the school counselor was taking over the class, watching over the class. In fact, he was standing at the, the front of the room kind of surveying things, just kind of watching. And uh, I did my assignment and I walked up past him and placed my paper on the desk. And he kind of turned to me and said, Daniel, who are you? I'm like, who am I? I'm, I'm, I, my voice was a little higher then. I, I'm me. I'm me. He says, no, no, no. Who are you? Suddenly I felt like I, I didn't have the answer. Like, who was I? And I, I said, I, I, I guess I don't know. And then he said, well, figure it out, figure it out. I can't help put a little Southern drawl in it because uh, Fred was originally from Tennessee and uh, I grew up in Michigan. And so he put a little twang in just about everything he said, but that question, who are you? And then the mission of figuring it out, it set my life on a mission. And I began wondering, how do you even begin to figure out who you are? What are the components? What are the factors of, that make up the self? And then I got into the whole self-concept of it. Self-concept. You realize that? Most of us ex experience ourselves as something solid, as something firm, as like a result of our programming of our past and the decisions that we've made. But your self-concept at any given moment is an idea. It's an idea that you hold in your mind as the projection of who you are. It's not real. It's not real. It's an idea. It's an assessment. And how did you come to this realization of who you are? By and large, it was programmed by your parents. It's programmed by your teachers, by your, te by your friends, by your peers. You made assessments of what you could do and what you didn't do. And most of those assessments were made with an eight-year-old, nine-year-old brain. A perception, a nine-year-old perception of the world. You determined who you were, whether you were shy, outgoing. And for the most part, you haven't really updated that self-concept ever since. You fleshed it out. You might have tweaked it some. But your basic personality has been somewhat the same since your teenage years, wouldn't you say?
Now, over the past 30 years, I've worked with over 10,000 people, and which may sound like a lot. It's not that much. It's only like 300 people a year, some years more, some years less. But what's interesting is that I have found that the self-concept, self-identity is the critical factor in how a person creates their life. In fact, you cannot outperform your self-concept, your idea of yourself. Now, your idea of yourself is composed of your capacity. How much can you earn? How much can you do? How fast can you do it? How capable are you? All those are ideas, assessments that you've made. And how did you arrive at these definitions? How did you arrive at the capacity? How high and how fast and how far? For the most part, trial and error. Sometimes you failed. And so if you failed two or three times, your, your idea of what you can do, what you can't do might be kind of low, might be too low for what you're capable of. For the most part, people don't test their boundaries. They don't test their capacities. And in working with 10,000 people over the years, I have to tell you a, a certain truth. And I say it with the best of intentions and the most love behind it, because it doesn't sound very flattering when it comes off my lips. By and large, who you are, who you know yourself to be, is nothing more than a collection of habitually learned knee-jerk responses that you've adopted along the way in order to get out of childhood alive with the least amount of pain and the most amount of pleasure. More tip, the scales more tip towards not enough pain. Like how do I avoid criticism? How do I avoid laughter, embarrassment? And you might have adopted certain characteristics, certain personality traits, like you, maybe you were funny, maybe you were charming, maybe you were shy, reticent, holds it back. All those personality dynamics were adopted along the way in order to survive, get along, fit in. And there's so many different aspects to your self-concept, but they were pieced together brick by brick, belief by belief. And some of the beliefs are in conflict. Some of the ideas don't jive. In one area, you have tremendous confidence. In another area, you doubt yourself all day long. And so what happens is there's an incongruency inside. We feel inauthentic. We don't feel like maybe we fit in completely or that maybe we're holding up a mask and we're not 100% authentic. Well, like I said earlier, you cannot outperform your self-concept. And at the heart of it, at the base of it, no matter what you do, you'll always come to the level of your self-concept. Of course, we push the boundaries, we, we try new things, and we expand the idea of who we are. But again, it's built on this, this mismatch, mishmash of beliefs, values, perceptions that have kind of been pieced together. So this brings me to my program, The Aligned Self. And so I'm working with over 10,000 people. Well, actually, let me back up. I did this for myself. I realized when I was 27 that I was not living the life I wanted. And when I forecasted forward into the future, I wasn't about to, given the choices I was making and the beliefs and the values I was living from. It was completely inauthentic. I was faced with a decision that I either change and transform or I lead a life, live a life that I didn't want. The, and the one fork in a road was going to be very unhappy. The other fork, I had possibility of being the best life possible. And so I took the other one, the, the best life possible. I changed a lot in my life. I actually decided to create myself from the inside out. I, I, I looked at everything because I was looking in the mirror and I didn't really love the person I had become. And why is that? Why, why are there aspects about you? that you don't like, why you don't love, because you didn't choose them. They were gifted to you, you inherited. Other, some other people told you that's the way you were and you bought it, yet inside it didn't quite feel true. It didn't feel like it was authentic. And so you have behavior that's not in alignment with the way you wanna be, behavior that you learned. And you look in the mirror, you make promises to yourself and you don't keep the promises. You look in the mirror and you know yourself to be a liar, that you don't keep promises to yourself. You don't, your behavior is not in alignment with who you want to really want to be. And sometimes you don't even really know who you want to be. 
I could, it could be said that at age 27, I had what could be called a midlife crisis. I just had it, you know, 15 years earlier. Most people arrive at a point in their life where they look in the mirror and they look at the job and the family and how they spend their time. And they don't recognize the person in the mirror. Like what happened to the ideal, idealistic, idealistic kid, young man, young woman back in their 20s? They made concessions. They tried to fit in, do the right thing, be the right person. And it's, it's cliche almost that you reach a point in your life where you realize I can't play this game anymore. And you no longer are concerned with what people think. You realize that your happiness is on the line. Your, your well-being is on the line. And so a lot of people jump ship. They think the only way that they can recreate themselves, live the life that they want is to give up, walk away from their life, their family, get divorced or their job or you've heard it, you've seen it. So my coaching program, The Aligned Self, is what I did when I was 27. It's rebuilding yourself from the inside out, starting from nothing, like pretending you have amnesia, pretending you can't remember who you are, and you get to create yourself with no programming, nothing there. What would you do? How would you do it? Now, I have created a systematic process in doing that, identifying your unifying principles, your core guiding values, and then creating belief system around that in an action statement and a mission that everything fits in, and then a code of conduct to keep yourself in alignment and boundaries on where you begin and where others begin or where you end and others begin. See, we don't typically choose that stuff not from the inside, not as if we're building someone with a sense of alignment. And to me, alignment is aligning your heart, your mind, and your body. How you feel, how you, the states of mind, your states of being, your emotional states, how you think, is your thinking in alignment with your feelings? And then is your actions, are your actions in alignment with what you're thinking? Do you say one thing and do another? You see, when your heart is aligned with your mind and your body, there is a congruence there that is unstoppable, unflappable. And when you choose who you are and what you believe and why you believe it, most people never do that. I have to tell you, that whole idea of creating yourself from the inside out, less than 1% of the population has ever done anything remotely close to this. There is no program specifically like this, specifically like the aligned self. And you have to understand how incredible it is to create yourself from nothing. Like who would you be if you didn't know who you were? What would you achieve? What, would, what dreams would you put in front of you if you knew you could not fail? Because... In the process, we develop a relationship with fear because the fear is the thing that stops you. Why do you have fear? Because you have this concept that I'm not enough that you picked up from childhood. When you recreate yourself from the inside out, you know what you stand for. You know what your boundaries are. You know who you are. And so fear becomes something you just manage. It, it becomes communication that alerts you that you're about to do something new, something novel, something you haven't done before. And so you design the aspects that you create the aspects that you require that you need in order to fulfill on your mission, fulfill on your intention, fulfill on your mission for and vision for the life. I wish I could impress upon you just how incredible it is to know who you are, to be comfortable in your own skin. That's a sense of confidence. And it's not like bodacious confidence and over-the-top confidence where you have to prove yourself. It's like you're just comfortable in your own skin. There's a self-assuredness because, again, you created who you are. You created who you are for yourself and the world. And it's extremely satisfying. And when your behavior is alignment with what you value most, your guiding principles, then you're living on purpose. You're purposeful in virtually everything you do each and every day. 
And when you live that way, when you live from that, that authenticity, there is a sense of self-esteem that goes through the roof. You like yourself. You love yourself. Again, because you created yourself. So I'm going to invite you to participate in my Align Self program. Now, the coaching program is a 12-week program where you literally redesign who you are. Like I said, you adopt amnesia. You come from nothing. And with nothing there, and I'll talk about how we create reality and the mechanics of that and how reality is more of a concept than, than structure. And in fact, physicists have told us for decades that everything is energy. If you take an electron microscope and you blow everything like this table, this microphone, the camera up big enough, it's filled with holes. It's just energetic particles that are dancing together. That is reality. And that reality corresponds to what you believe. And we all know the power of belief. Do you, what happens if you believed in unlimited life, unlimited possibility? And it was congruent where you had the structure and the evidence underneath to support that belief. Just what could you do? What couldn't you do? I get so excited about this program in the transformation that I see in every participant that goes through it. it it's, it's almost bringing me to tears because people get their life. They get it in a way where they're, and this is the unexpected benefit. Of course, everyone gets the confidence and self-esteem and I love myself. And, but what they don't realize that they're gonna get, and I'm gonna tell you right now, that is of even more value is a sense of peace and a sense of equanimity. And there, there's a solidity and a certainty to your life. It's, you're no longer bargaining your actions to fit into other people's ideas about who you should be. You don't try and fit in the world anymore. It's now the world's job to fit you, to match you, to accommodate you. You become a force of nature. Now, it's not necessarily over the top. It's not like a hurricane. It's not like a tornado. You could be, but it could be the, a summer rain. You see, you cannot ignore the rain. You can't wish it away. You go out in the rain, you deal with it. And the way you're going to move in the world, the world will just have to deal with you the way you are, you're badass you. You see, my legacy is your performance. Your life is my legacy. I'm invested in your transformation. And the, the joy that I get from you getting yourself, valuing yourself, creating a life that you love and is a phenomenal expression, a self-expression, the story of your self-expression. That makes me and fulfills me. It is actually my mission in life. I can hear a car driving out in the neighborhood. But, and there's a sense of authenticity. Like there's been some snafu, some messes up here, <laughs> messes up, messing up here. But I'm communicating what, it, like, I don't have to look good for you. I just need to communicate the message. Now I need to be upfront. It's gonna require something from you. It's gonna require an investment of time and require your commitment. I don't take applications. A lot of coaching programs, they have you fill out an application and then they, you submit the application. They assess whether or not you can make it or show up. Um, I wanna leave that up to you. I'm not going to define you especially when you you may not have a self concept that can be or fit my my idea i want you to design who you want to be are you committed to being and having the life that you want being who you want you see i want you to think of all the reasons why this doesn't work for you and then sign up i want you i'm not going to sell you if you want answers if you want answers to your questions, you need more information, you need to work something out, how to do the payment, 
how to combine a couple of different payments. I'm now taking crypto. You can spread it over a couple of credit cards. You know, we can work something out. So there's a link down below down there for you to schedule a call with me to connect with me. Now, I also have the price on the page down at the bottom. Don't go there yet. Don't go there yet. Um, I want you to understand something that you're probably going to look at the price and then judge it from your self-concept of what you think is possible. You may have, you may be one of those individuals that look at the price of everything before you look at the value for your life. It's going to require an investment. But when you look at the long-term value over your life, it's pale, it's small in comparison, but you have to determine that for yourself. You have to determine what is the value of your life. To have a life of happiness, success, confidence, courage, certainty, unassuredness, authenticity, peace, equanimity, liking yourself, excited about the day, day in, day out for years. What's the value of that? What are you prepared to do for that? See, <laughs> most people would not do this. This is not for everybody. I get that. It's going to require something from you to be engaged. But it's worth it. It is well worth it. Now, I want you to go down. There's a testimonial there from a woman who looked at the coaching program a year ago. And frankly, she said she couldn't afford it. She said she didn't have the time. And she also had been burned by a couple other coaches. Not necessarily burned, but she didn't get the value, didn't get the return on her investment. And she was more than this program. But what's interesting is she knew there was something here and she came back and got enrolled. And her story is down there. And it says something about having the doubt up front because I get there's doubt, there's trepidation. It requires an investment. It requires time, commitment. Yet what you get on the other side is such power. And I assure that you will get the result of the program. You will get a sense of self. You will get you know, an actual list. You'll create a list of your unifying principles and the beliefs that support those. You'll have a framework that you can look at and refer to. It's so powerful. So go ahead. I'm done for now. Go down, register. If you see that it's for you, register. Get involved. If you need to work something out, get a hold of me. But my friend, and we will be friends for this. I oh, also, some I'm the one that coaches you. Nobody else coaches you. I don't have assistants, not at the moment, not not people that do the coaching. So one of the things that you get in the program is you get one-on-one -on -one calls with me. There's group calls and one-on-one -on -one calls. There's weekly videos and assignments. But we have a call, a Zoom call on the, in the beginning where I get to know you, specifically you. I'm invested in your transformation. And then there's another call at the end of it, a personal call, personal video, Zoom session, where we make, I make sure that everything's integrated in your life, that you got the result of the program. I want to know that you got it. I'm not just going to let you go. I want to have that assurance that I'm, because I'm invested in you. I'm investing my time, my mental energy, and I want you to have the life that you want. And so I'm going to ask you, what are you creating and how, how's it going? And, and so I'm not just going to let you go. We're going to have a relationship. We're going to have a friendship. I'm going to get to know you intimately. And you're going to, you're going to get to know me. You're going to get to see different sides of me. And I went through this process myself at age 27. I've done it ag again several times. I've upgraded and tweaked it. Now, that's the nice thing about this is once you create the program, once you create who you are, 
you have the tools, the framework to create, recreate yourself again and again and again, because we hit plateaus. We reached the limits of what we thought we could see. And then we expand our vision, expand the possibilities. This is forever. This is not just value in the program. This is your life. It's your dream. It's your business. It's the mission, the contribution that you have for the world. Some people like to live small lives. I don't think that's you. And that's why I have the program. So go ahead and go down and look. And I'll see you. There's also, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's also a number of other videos that explains different things about the program, different aspects, but go ahead. Now you can go. See you soon.